Far changed my mind has been feeling very comfortable with, and I don't think this is a bad matchup for them. Normally, when we see the Frost Mage Assassination Rogue Resto Druid against the Destruction Warlock, although it's difficult to take the Destruction Warlock down, you can sort of really limit their output. Having the Assassination Rogue consistently kidney shot, Infernion is going to make it very difficult for him to actually get out the Chaos Bolts that he needs later on in the game. As dampening gets higher, Infernion will likely fall, so it's going to be up to Plot Twist to sort of race against the clock, try to find a kill opportunity in this match. It would be a typically a very startling start for Plot Twist, but Infernion took the game completely into his own control, spell locking incoming crowd control from Mpoike, while Rezus denied incoming crowd control from Fried Kitty. And because they split up their resources to deny crowd control, Change My Mind effectively got nothing done with their opener. We see Acro pinned between two rings apiece, but unfortunately he was not the target of choice at that critical moment in time. Infernion trying to set up for a huge Chaos Bolt. This next one will be gigantic, but not able to find. It gets denied, and in the meantime, Frat Kitty has secured crowd control. They looked strong on their Rogue Mage in their previous series against Method Black, although compositionally disadvantaged. I'm very curious to see how they play when they're more evenly footed in terms of composition. Yeah, Numbliz now in a Cyclone. Interrupt on Infernion. Infernion still not topped off, and he's already traded out the Unending Resolve. This is not a great start for Plot Twist as Numbly oh. gets interrupted. Chaos Bolt on Fry Kitty. He's low. Is he getting the Ice Block off? Not enough damage with the Cyclone onto Infernion. Good denial there by Minpoike. That was a close call for Change My Mind, but played it patiently. Now Infernion in a little bit of trouble. Life Cocoon traded out by Numbly to keep him alive. I think that should be able to, unless Change My Mind can continue the crowd control chain, and they do manage to find it. Poike is on fire in this matchup, trading out Cyclone after Cyclone, beautifully setting up his team, but that's put him very far behind on mana. Numbly is overextended with Way of the Crane to get an Ice Block, then didn't get the Ice Block, and then got crowd controlled, and then had to use his Virus Medallion on something that isn't blind. And typically, when facing a, a rogue of any specialization, if you have to use your Gladiator's Medallion as a healer on anything but blind, the next blind is the end of the game. So I would feel like Plot Twists are on now a bit of a clock now to get a kill, which they might be able to find with good crowd control. Maybe not enough. Counterspell, beautiful crowd control from Fried Kitty. He's definitely stepped up his game here today. Unfortunately, now this is the full blind. I would have, I would have liked to have seen it saved for. They don't. Do they have a polymorph TR? They do have the polymorph TR. So they've got the polymorph TR. They followed it up, but they weren't able to connect. Numbless positioned well. He moved very far away from Infernion. So Acro had to overextend to blind and then couldn't connect back to his target. Because of the way that Infernion and Numbless positioned, they overcame that situation where not having Glider's Medallion for blind looked like it didn't even matter. Infernion getting interrupted, still under fire. And that's really one of the strengths of the Assassination Rogue is shutting down a Destruction Warlock. Kidney Shot is just up so frequently as a single target's done that it really becomes difficult for Infernion when he finally gets through the interrupts, tries to find the Chaos Bolt, there's the full stun. Now Numbless into a Polymorph, throws out the Life Cocoon once again, preemptively denying a lot of the damage or pressure that Change My Mind could potentially find. And Poike now sneaking away, regenerating his mana if he can sit down for a drink, and that's a great spot for him to be in. Right now, this is the Vendetta from Macro. They're trying to push through, take down Infernion. No Life Cocoon available. If there's any crowd control in Numbless, definitely Plot Twist could be in some trouble, but with the Dark Soul rolling, they might be able to find some counter pressure. Unfortunately not, Garrod Silence denies. Fried Kitty throwing in Gladiator's Maledict once again. Beautiful Cyclone by Minpoike. If he can push in and get some crowd control on Numbless, Bash into Polymorph, gets Polymorph on his trinket. Infernion could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Frozen Orb drop, lots of Ice Lance. Good Cyclone, the crowd control initiation by Change My Mind is immaculate here in game number one. Infernion holds on by a threat. Multiple fears being spammed out. Will it be enough for him to stay alive? It looks like it will. Peeling off the entire team and stabilizing with basically 1% health remaining. Infernion stays alive and now looks to counterattack. Change my mind, cannot believe what just happened. Infernion hanging on by a thread and now has the unending resolve available once again. So a lot of defensive cooldowns available now for plot twist. Changed my mind, they were right at the finish line. Unfortunately, didn't have the damage to close it out. Now Infernion's gonna be feeling healthy, looking for Chaos Bolts, trying to reverse the pressure onto Acro, but the Fink denies that. Poike is Iron Bark. Infernion's still in midfield, basically acting as a turret for his team, trying to find some pressure. Right, Kitty's he's used his Icy Veins. It's the last little bit of his Icy Veins, trying to close out, try to find the damage take down Infernion. Unfortunately, wasn't able to. Now, without that, he's not gonna have really the pressure that he needs, but another setup coming in from Change My Mind. Polymorph secured onto Numbliz, and Infernion gates away on top of Numbliz, and Poike follows it up with a bash. And I, really, I've been impressed with Change My Mind so far in this tournament. The Rogue Mage Druid gameplay has been top level, but just haven't been able to find the victories in 
any of their series so far. Now Acro getting bursted down off the back of the touch of death coming in from Rezus. Change my mind is a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, it's not very often we get to say Rogue Mage is not the meta, but in this tournament, it's certainly not looking to be the case. Change my mind have definitely put in a lot of practice to step up their play. I think moving forward, if the meta does shift, that they could be a strong contender, but still relying on effectively their entire roster as one tricks, every single member only playing one class, and even on one class, maybe only limited to one or maybe two specializations. So change my mind, if they want to be able to nail down the entire year, have to focus more on diversifying their roster and not just relying on a meta, because even though they're playing phenomenally on this, they need to play phenomenally on more than just this. Numb was locked out of the match in a polymorph, but no follow-up. Acro getting counter-aggressed, and Poike exchanges to stabilize with Iron Bark and Faint. It should be more than enough for Acro to stay aggressive. Kidney shot onto Inferno. Smoke bomb attempt. Numbless needs to get in there, but then Poike denies him on the reconnect. Huge Comet Storm crashing in. Perfect Cyclone timing. Immaculate crowd control once again by the team of Change My Mind, and Infernion will fall. Perfect play. <laughs> yeah, Infernion, you're not going to get out of that twice. <laughs> one time, maybe. This series, this one, is for elimination. Yeah, and one of the things we saw in the last game that was really difficult for Rezus is, as a Windwalker Monk, it is very challenging to chase down a Frost Mage who has a Restoration Druid backing him up. So anytime Frog Kitty's in trouble, he can run out into the open, and that allows Mipoike to land Cyclones, which he definitely wasn't afraid to do in that last matchup, because he was able to easily recover his mana. But on the smaller map, Rezus is going to have a much easier time sitting down on Fried Kitty. But still, my worry for this matchup is that Infernion is just going to be locked down so much, and Numbless on that Mystery Monk is going to be very susceptible to a lot of the crowd control Change My Mind have available. Yeah, and Change My Mind have been on point throughout the entire day, and now Mistweaver is a lot easier to exploit than a Restoration Druid, so Numbless needs to navigate through a ton of crowd control to get a potential counter pressure and heal his team. We do see a good engagement so far for Plot Twist as Fried Kitty is falling heavily behind. And Poike gets spell locked on an incoming cast, and that could put him even further behind. Actually, re stealthing while interrupted. Good usage of time there on Poike's part to get advantages. That smoke bomb gets dropped. Change my mind, look to rotate around for an early kill. Infernion gets cycloned at low health on his defensive cooldown. Minpoike then shifts that cyclone onto the enemy healer, Numbliz, and Change my mind have suddenly flipped this game completely on its head and maybe looking to close it out. Another cyclone, one second too late. That life cocoon connects, but potentially not enough. If Fried Kitty can get a polymorph, he gets spell locked immediately. Fried Kitty still has an opportunity to get it with Numbliz out in center field trying to stabilize Infernion, then ducking around the corner. He knows that polymorph is the next threat and wants to avoid it as long as possible. It's very difficult for Numbliz in this position. Does he use Way of the Crane, make a push with his team? If he does, he's walking into crowd control. And Poike re-stealthing, stunning up into a poly. I would love this Feral Affinity adaptation on Min Poike's part. He's been utilizing it in game one and game two to likely close this out. Tons of damage. Infernion falls further behind. Numbless activates that Way of the Crane. He needs to make a big push with this, Ven. Yeah, it definitely does. They need to find the damage on the Fried Kitty. He actually trinketed out of blind as well. And Infernion with no unending resolve, no trinket. Numbless with no trinket. Change by mind is just one setup from closing out this game. Infernion still in a lot of trouble. Fried Kitty can land the full ring of frost. What is Infernion going to do? Cross crowd control onto Rezus. All three members completely controlled. Beautiful execution by Change My Mind, but do they have the damage? And Poike throwing in Solar Wrath after Solar Wrath. Infernion hanging on by a thread as Acro's looking to reconnect, but Numbless lands the life cocoon to keep Infernion in this game. Cyclone timing's not on point there for Min Poike. I think he wanted to fake cast a spell, a spell lock, which he did, but he still casted the Cyclone so late. The life cocoon is easily casted by Numbless in between crowd control. Although these setups have looked clean, they get another full polymorph. Acro's on Fear DR. He's going to get full uptime. They have to deny Fried Kitty on his further polymorph chain. They managed to for now. Numbless is open unless Minpoike can sneak in. He's not able to find the window. He gets denied by Rezus. Infernion follows it up, but still pressure in favor of Change My Mind. They're just crushing with damage. Way of the Crane gets activated in desperation. Will it be enough? If he gets crowd controlled on it, it could be the end of the game. Numbless ducks around the corner, out of line of sight. Ring of Peace prevents Minpoike from jumping into Cyclone. That Ring of Peace might be the only thing that kept Numbless out of crowd control long enough to potentially save Infernion for Life Cocoon now to be available. Really well placed, but still, Minpoike moves in. No one can stop him. Secures the full Cyclone, and Life Cocoon may not be enough.
Yeah, that was Vendetta from Macro. They still have a little damage. Infernion now trying to counter pressure, dropping the Infernals, and that's exactly what he needs in this situation, but still just being denied by Acro. He's caught into a kick, into a Garrote Silence. Numbless now into a full Polymorph. Infernion barely holding on. There's no counter pressure whatsoever in this matchup for Plot Twist. Benpoike's man is still looking good and Change My Mind is just dominating them. Yep, Change My Mind really showing why they're currently the third place team in terms of points. They can't take down Method Black or Wildcard Gaming, the Titans, but they're still a strong contender in this tournament series in the Europe region in general. And if the meta does ever swing to be a rogue mage meta, they're gonna be a really big threat. I mean, look at this currently. Infernion just constantly against the wall, just not able to even get any sort of counter pressure. Cyclone did low health. They have to time the life cocoon potentially in between this. Maybe Numbless gets interrupted. He gets cycloned. They didn't go for the safe play by pre-activating that life cocoon and not going for the safe play could cost Infernion's life. Full polymorph secured. Crowd control looks good. Flurry comes in, huge combo. Infernion falls. Change my mind, move to match point. And, and one of the big things that I do want to touch upon, I know Zico, you had the AoE coil. I don't think that's going to be a problem. And I think with the amount of lockdown that these Warlocks have and the amount of burst that they can bring at the back of that, I don't think Fried Kitty is going to be doing anything. All right, well, <laughs> Plot Twist has played this composition two times. We saw him win with it once. They lost the other time. What's it going to be in this third debut for the Warlock? Warlock, Reign of Destruction. We find out right now. And yes, Dave has taunted Fried Kitty and Acro, old Aggro, at the beginning of this game. And Fernion, beginning to be happy about that one. He's the one who was trained down in the last two games playing against Change My Mind. That's going to free him up to get some damage rolling. Infernals have been dropped out by Infernion, and I think... It's good that Changed My Mind runs away, but I also think it's really smart what Plot Twist did is they didn't commit both of their Infernals, so Changed My Mind not really gonna get too much out of that opener as they make a big attempt over onto Numbliz. Can Numbliz survive? So far, it seems like he's able to as he rolls away with that Chi Torpedo. And now Infernion on Yesterday can really tear in. Yeah, Fried Kitty needs to be ready with Double Dark Soul activated. Minpoike gets swapped to and bursted. Yes, Dave in position to finish. They land the leg sweep. Minpoike has to trink it. Infernion on the ropes as well, but a double Mortal Coil pins Minpoike out in the open. Another Mortal Coil to follow up after that. One Chaos Bullet could take the kill. As Minpoike is trying to duck for cover in desperation. Why did Numbless not wave the crane already? He would have killed Minpoike by now. Now with the way of the crane, maybe has enough damage to do so. Pinning Minpoike out midfield with that ring of peace. One Chaos Bullet, two Minpoike. He looks like a chicken <laughs> running around. Just has no idea where he wants to go. Gets completely destroyed. Will they be able to go for the reverse sweep? We are about to find out here. It's still match point. Plot twist still face elimination. Change my mind. Are trying to secure their third place on terms of points to qualify to the spring finals. They looked solid throughout the entire day up until that last game where everything just fell apart. And maybe the entire series will here, Ven. Yeah, definitely. We'll have to see what can happen, and it really is anyone's guess. With Double Destruction Warlock, really anything can happen. Chaos Bolt, very powerful ability, lots of control with both of these Warlocks as well. We'll have to see what change my mind can get done. I feel like, for the most part, like you kind of mentioned in the last game, they're going to have to implement a hit-and-run strategy. I don't think they can just sit out in the open. They'll be taking far too much damage. They have to try to just line of sight move in when Acro has kidney shot and try to make plays happen that way. But if one of these Warlocks is left open, I feel like it's going to be really easy for them to deny him in Poike and Fry Kitty the kind of crowd control we saw in the first two games. You see a good initiation here by Change My Mind with Blind, but Numbless doesn't even have to use Glyre's Medallion. Now opting to use it on the Polymorph. Now there'll be an eight-second window where they could get a kill with Blind later on. That's definitely something I'm looking to see if Change My Mind can exploit. Minpoike decided to go with the safe route. He doesn't want to be falling over like he did in that last game, so he's went with the Guardian Affinity. I think with that added defense, he is now no longer a target unless he basically throws the game and stands in the middle of the map eating four Chaos Bolts in a row. Then, then he maybe goes down, but with Guardian Affinity, he's going to be much more durable. Yeah, it looks like an attempt here by Acro, trying to create some pressure for his team, but unfortunately, Fried Kitty really nowhere to be found in terms of damage, and that's why we kind of wanted to see Fried Kitty get on the Fire Mage, as it would give him a little bit more instant damage in order to sort of push through some of the defensives that Plot Twist really has available. On the Frost Mage, it's going to be difficult for him to really get too much damage rolling. Yes, Dave now looking for Fears. Numbless caught into a Cyclone. Mifuike's still been able to find good crowd control in the game so far, but there's just no damage for Change My Mind. 
Yep, change my mind. Playing it slow and steady, but into a double destruction warlock, this is what I was trying to allude to is can you win as slow and steady against two warlocks you would typically give that to the warlock team they want to be playing slow and steady and rogue mage wants to go fast and hard so I'd, i'm not sure if that's going to work for change my mind overall I mean, Poike removes the threat of himself going down but they lose all aggressive potential as well in exchange yeah yep. they do yes dave looking for a chaos bolt Looks like he'll be shut down. Acro in this matchup, he's been looking for restealths quite often. So running away, if he can get a restealth, that provides him the uh, opportunity to get not only cheap shots on both Warlocks, but Garot Silence as well. But Acro getting low could be in some trouble. Cloak of Shadows denies the Mortal Coil of Infernion. Nice plays there by Acro. If he got caught in that Mortal Coil, it could have ultimately been his life. And now, out of line of sight, we'll be looking for a restealth potentially once again, but not able to find it. There was a pet on him. Nicely done by Yes Dave. Good pet control with that Fell Hunter, not allowing Acro to get the restealth off. Is that is going to allow Change My Mind to get a lot of setup, but they can eventually do it. Now Shadow Fear on to Acro. He's in some trouble. He's been in midfield for far too long. And Poike has to trade out his trinket and the iron bark. Acro still getting spam feared. The only defensive he really has left is his vanish, which should keep him alive, but still Acro's very vulnerable. Yeah, moving forward, change my mind, shifting gears and trying to slow it down. I don't think that it's ultimately in their best route to victory to do that. Numbless trades out Life Cocoon to try and stabilize. Yes, Dave, there's an opening for Smoke Bomb potentially in 50 more seconds from now for Acro. They've been playing it really patient, holding on to big aggressive cooldowns on those pushes, but inevitably falling behind. Numbless is basically at full mana. It will be up to Minpoike to be able to drag out the game and drink and reset that later on. Numbless currently polymorphed. This would typically be a scary moment for Plot Twist, but they look unshaken. Yep. Looks like Plot Twist, they are very durable with this composition so far. And I think the one thing Change My Mind has going for them is the Assassination Rogue is very effective at taking down a Destruction Warlock, especially, like we said, as we kind of move forward into Dampening. Destruction Warlocks, they have a lot of self-healing, so as Dampening gets higher, that defense definitely gets limited, and that's where Acro by himself can essentially take down one of these Destruction Warlocks. It seems like Infernion is the target of choice so far, but Plot Twist, they have every single defensive cooldown still ready to go. Acro's kind of trying to bait something out before using Vendetta, but unfortunately not able to find the damage just yet. Another attempt here by Change My Mind, but Bride Kitty into the interrupt. Infernion looking for a Chaos Bolt. Unfortunately, line of sight, not able to find it. Once again, another Chaos Bolt with the Mortal Coil from Yes Dave. And Yes Dave and Infernion, they've been using both their Mortal Coils back to back to give them sort of a 4.5 second window where they can get that damage off. But unfortunately, that those mortal coils they have sort of a pathing with the way you walk and that can take you out of line of sight and that's what's been happening so plot twist hasn't been able to find the damage off those coils just yet good engagement by change my mind they managed to pull life cocoon from numbliz putting that cooldown checklist slightly smaller now with dampening kicking in you have to start thinking who's favored and who isn't i still think it's anyone's game here on black or cold and turning on gets cycloned at low health Devastation for Numbless. He activates Way of the Crane to try and top him off as soon as it ends, but he gets stunned right as Infernion comes out of the Cyclone. And Poike jumps into the fight. Do they have any follow-up? Doesn't look like it. Now they're getting Chaos Bolted, double Mortal Coiled, and thwarted away. They do manage to at least get Unending Resolve from Infernion. A critical defensive cooldown out of the way and change my mind, setting themselves up well for victory here on Game 4. Yeah, that was good crowd control on Numbless, denying the Way of the Crane, but... That's what we kind of talked about. Infernion, he's not a sitting duck anymore. He doesn't have a Windwalker Monk just throwing out a Fuses to keep him or Vivifies to keep him alive. He has Yes Dave who can spam Fear and Shadow Fear and Mortal Coil and has a Spell Lock to deny Change My Mind. That's going to allow Infernion a lot more breathing room and allow Numbless to get a little bit more aggressive without being punished so hard in this matchup. In terms of mana, right now Change My Mind has a bit of a lead, but I feel like Numbless is going to hold on to his mana for a little bit longer in this matchup. Pride Kitty still doing a good job denying the Polymorph spam, really controlling up Infernion and Yes Dave. We look at offensive cooldowns. Fried Kitty with Icy Veins in a minute. Acro with his Vendetta in five seconds. If they can line those up, they might be able to push down through some of the defensives. Infernion without his unending resolve is going to be a very vulnerable target here during this next attempt. As long as Change My Mind lined up their crowd control and offensive cooldowns, 
I think they definitely have a great offensive push shortly. Ooh, double leg sweep. Good catch by Numliz. That banks them multiple defensive cooldowns from the side of Change My Mind. And more importantly, Acro Lol's Gladiator's Medallions. So rogues are highly susceptible to dying and stuns. What do they have to remove stuns? Gladiator's Medallion. Now Acro doesn't have access to that, so he is vulnerable to that weakness that rogues are typically vulnerable to. And Plot Twist can look to exploit that in roughly 40 seconds from now when Numbless has leg sweep again. So if you're Acro, you got to be careful. Yeah, definitely have to be careful being caught into a stun, into a mortal coil. That's a great opportunity for Plot Twist, but now, changed my mind, getting aggressive. It has been Vendetta pop by Acro onto Infernion with a full Cyclone on the Numblitz. Beautiful triple crowd control once again. What is Infernion going to do? Looking for Chaos Bolts on the Fried Kitty. Fried Kitty forced to retreat just a little bit here. Now, Numblitz with the Life Cocoon looking to deny that kill. Infernion should be able to hold on. Yes, they're doing a great job playing defense. Good counter pressure there by Plot Twist in order to stay alive. Yeah, really good defense here. Both teams evenly matched. Potentially, if Plot Twist had just pulled this composition out from the get go, maybe they could be up 2 1 in this series. It's a bit unfortunate for them because they're on the bubble. They're one of those teams that could overthrow Change My Mind on the standings in terms of points. And they found this composition maybe too late into the series. Uh -oh. Got a good combo. They've locked Acro out of the fight. Multiple Maldix for Cloak of Shadows removes that if the healing absorption effect. And Poike can now easily recover. And Poike held his virus medallion to exchange for this moment where Acro wouldn't have had his. So good trinket usage from Change My Mind. Nice rotation. We see another setup on Infernion. Deeper into dampening. Life Cocoon does not become a shield that you can rely on. Smoke Bomb interrupts the heals for a couple more seconds. Maybe they can just overwhelm Infernion with pressure. A fully channeled Ray of Frost. Big mistakes here from Plot Twist to allow that to happen. Numbless now polymorphed, and there's no way that an ending resolve will even be enough to allow Infernion to stand here against Change My Mind as they clean it up, clean the series out 3-1. Yeah, Infernion's resolve going to come to a swift end. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.